Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a monthly reading for the sign of Capricorn. These messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. These messages will be for the month of November. So remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to start off by pulling some overall messages. So let's see what Spirit has for you, Capricorn. Okay. I have security. And I have blessings. Okay. So let's get one more message. Manifestation, yes, this is beautiful, Capricorn. Yes, spirit is getting ready to pour into your life. You have been manifesting blessings into your life. You have been manifesting positive energy. You have been manifesting new beginnings for yourself. You have been manifesting change and you are about to receive it. You are about to experience the abundance that you have been seeking. And it's like with this security message, you can trust this. You can trust these blessings. Because these blessings come from spirit. These blessings come from God. There are doors that are getting ready to open for you that no man can close. You are getting ready to walk through to a new beginning, to a new cycle, a new phase in your life. And all of this is taking place because you are in your power. Your intentions are pure. You are calling these things into your life. And you are getting ready to receive them. So let's go deeper into your messages. Spirit with messages for Capricorn. Okay, I have justice. So let's get some more messages. Okay, the moon. I have the Eight of Pentacles and the world in the reverse. I have the Six of Swords. I have the Chariot in the reverse. Spirit says one more card. So let's get one more message for you, Capricorn. Capricorn. 
I have the Queen of Swords. And I have the Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so I feel that things are getting ready to balance out for you. I feel that for some of you, this could be a divorce. But whatever this is, it's going to go in your favor. There's something that is going to be revealed that you have no knowledge of. And I feel that whatever is going to be revealed to you is going to allow you to focus on yourself. It's going to allow you to start doing things and investing in opportunities that is going to be beneficial to you. Something did not work out the way that you wanted it to. And you chose to walk away. You chose to move forward in a new direction. This was very disappointing, but you knew that you had to do what was best for you. It's like with the chariot in the reverse. It's like stagnation. It's like this connection, because I do feel that this is a relationship was stagnant there was no growth there was no forward movement and you chose to be in your energy and your power and use your sword to cut this person out of your life you are no longer pouring into this connection because you realize that you are the only one putting in the effort and energy and you were pouring into something that was empty so let's go deeper So give me a message for justice. Okay, I have the sun. Yes. You have abundance, blessings, prosperity coming in. Things are truly getting ready to work out in your favor. Things are getting ready to balance out for you, Capricorn. So let's get a message for the moon. I have the star, yes. I feel that... Your blessings are getting ready to be revealed to you. It's something that you have been waiting on, something that you have been wanting, and you are getting ready to receive it. This is getting ready to be revealed to you, a new beginning, a new path, something that is going to have the focus on you. All eyes are going to be on you. Let's get a message for the Eight of Pentacles. It's something that you have been working on and you are going to gain some notoriety because of it. I have the Four of Swords. You are in a very good space. You are balanced in your emotions. You are balanced in your thoughts. I feel that you are truly at peace in this season in your life. You are focused on your growth. You are focused on learning more, gaining knowledge, whether that is going back to school or gaining knowledge when it comes to a certain area, a certain subject. But you are open and in tune to spirit, in tune to guidance, in tune to learning and growing and really developing your craft, developing your gifts. So let's get a message for the world in the reverse. Yes, you are in your power. You are calling in a new beginning. You are calling in a new season. You are calling in your blessings. Yes, in the month of November, a change. You are about to see a change. You are getting ready to see all of the hard work that you have put in. Everything that you have done is getting ready to pay off for you. A new cycle is beginning.
Okay, so I have the Fool and I have the Two of Wands in reverse. So I feel that there was a situation that did not work out the way that you wanted it to. And it's like you no longer see this situation, this circumstance, this connection as an option. You realize that it's going nowhere and this is no longer an option for you. So let's get a message for the Six of Swords. I have the King of Swords in the reverse and I have the King of Wands in the reverse. So it's like you had a very difficult time cutting this person out of your life. You stayed with them for a very long time. You kept them in your life for a very long time. And it's like you were unable to move forward. It was very difficult for you. But you knew that you had to do it because this relationship, this connection was not for your highest good. You know that you had to start it. You know you had to start doing things that were going to be best for you. Even though you did not want to leave. Even though you wanted to stay with this person, stay in this connection. You knew that this wasn't the best. You knew that you deserved better. And despite the fact that you were disappointed, despite the difficulty, you chose to move forward anyway. You chose to move in a new direction. So let's get a message for the chariot in the reverse. I have the magician, yes. You are the magician. And there was no growth in this relationship. You wanted to have a stable connection with this person. You tried to manifest this, but you were unable to because you and this person were not meant to be together. This was not God's best for you. That is why things were stagnant. That is why things would never get off the ground. You were not able to manifest this connection because this was not the person you were supposed to be with. So let's get a message for the Queen of Swords. Okay, I have judgment, yes. By you cutting this person out of your life, you are bringing in a new beginning. Things are going to start turning around for you. Things are going to start working out in your favor because you are detaching from negative energy and you are choosing to bring in positive energy. You are choosing to raise your vibration. Therefore, you are going to attract things that are of a higher essence. You are going to be able to call things into your life that is truly going to help you grow, evolve as a person. That is going to make you happy because you are no longer holding on to things that do not serve you. You're letting this person go. This person does not serve you. And because you're in your power, now you are able to receive the blessings, this new beginning that God, that spirit has for you. Because this person cannot go with you. You have to leave them behind. They're not meant to travel with you onto this new path. You have to go by yourself. But on this journey... As you are moving forward, God is going to gift you with a divine counterpart, with a divine connection. But as far as you starting out, 
This is going to be a solo journey initially. You are meant to go by yourself. There's something that you need to discover about yourself on this journey. That is why spirit wants you alone. So that you can fully come into your power. So that you can understand more about who you are. So let's get a message for the Five of Cups in the reverse. I heard wisdom. You are really becoming wise. You are developing a lot of knowledge. You're doing a lot of studying. Taking in a lot of different information. That is going to help you as a person. That is going to help you transform. That is going to help you grow. You are truly in tune with your higher self. I have the four of discs, which is the four of pentacles in the reverse. I feel that you realize by you pouring into this connection, it's like you were sacrificing yourself. You were putting this person's needs before your own. That is what you realize. And that is why you chose to no longer give to the situation. You chose to no longer pour into the situation. Because you realized that you were putting someone else's needs before your own. And it was hindering your progress. It was hindering your growth. You were trying to plant on the other person's side of the fence. When you needed to be planting on your own. You needed to be focusing on your own growth. You needed to be doing what was best for you. So let's get one more message. And by letting this person go, by walking away, I just go back to manifestation. You're able to fully be in your power. Now you can call things into your life that you want for yourself and spirit will deliver because you have released the negative energy. Okay. I have face your fears, release the power of fear. Yes, do not be scared of this. Do not be scared of this transformation. Do not be scared of this new season, this new path. Embrace your fears. Work on yourself. Discover the things about yourself that hinders your growth. Things that you haven't released. Thoughts, fears. Holding on to things that people have done, have said to you. Release all of it. So that there will be no hindrances on this new journey. So that you can fully move forward with confidence. Let go. There's nothing to fear. Spirit God is leading you. You are being guided. This is going to be life-changing. This whole experience is going to be life-changing for you. You're not going to be able to recognize yourself a few years from now. You are going to be a completely different person. And it all starts right now. It all starts with you taking one step forward into a different direction. So the last message that I have is gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. Yes, be grateful for everything. Be grateful for the big successes. Be grateful for the small successes. 
It's all helping you. It's all helping you grow. It's all helping you have stability. Be grateful for everything. Be grateful for the good experiences and the bad. It all helped you to become the person that you are today. Have an attitude of gratitude. And you will continue to go far. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.